So we are back at it with episode 21 of the best Nova Launcher setups, the first episode of the new year. And we're kicking things off with three very attractive and appealing setups, all of which feature some really cool elements of functionality throughout. And they're all actually quite simple to set up and load on your own devices as well. But before we get onto the episode, I wanna quickly mention today's sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes available to teach you a whole range of skills such as cinematography, editing, motion graphics, plus heaps more that will ready you for learning and thriving in 2019. It's available for Mac and PC, but also on iOS and Android devices, and you can also download any course for offline viewing. I've recently been watching a Dale McManus class that goes into all the ins and outs of getting professional looking footage using any camera whatsoever. It's super beneficial, particularly if you don't have access to high-end equipment. And this is the sort of content that I just love sitting back and learning from. And again, this is just one example of thousands of classes available on Skillshare. Premium membership starts at less than $10 a month, and this gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields. But for the first 500 people to sign up using the link down in the description, you can get two months of Skillshare for free. All right, onto the episode. So starting with an eye-catching setup sent in by Surav, this is one of those really clean and impressive looking setups. We've got lots of info on the home screen and yet it still looks great. So starting with that wallpaper, this has been sent through directly, which is nice. And it really helps set the clean white tone of this setup. It's pretty much an all white wallpaper, just with a small portion of fog covered trees in the middle there. And as I've said many times before, what this sort of a wallpaper does is it makes your icons and widgets stand out because they're not really having to compete with the backdrop. Now at the top, we actually have what looks like a whole range of different widgets and icons, but it's actually just one self-contained widget, which makes setting up this home screen relatively simple. So we've got a search bar up the top, which launches into the Google search page. Below that is a day and date widget, and this toggles the calendar application. Then we've got some weather information below that, then a time widget, and then a little profile icon and email widget just below that. This icon here is really the only customization you'll need to do. Otherwise you'll end up with my picture, name and email in your setup instead of your own. But it's fairly simple, particularly if you've got some experience using KWGT. And then below that, still part of the one overarching widget, we have four application icons and a little apps text box over to the right. And this does launch into the app drawer upon tapping it, but we'll come back to the app drawer in a minute. The only other aspect of this one widget is the blue arrow on the far right. This is just a nice design element that I really like the look of. It helps add a punch of color into the setup and matches the other accent colors throughout the home page as well. Now coming below that widget, and here we have a music player widget taken from the goo.io for KWGT widget pack. This just adds in one extra layer of functionality and having the white background there helps to keep things uniform with the rest of the setup. Moving to the bottom, and here we have three app icons which have been set up using some of the dot icons within the candy cons icon pack. These apps launch into the phone, messages, and WhatsApp applications respectively. And again, these just add in a nice touch of color, which I think looks great. And now swapping into the app drawer, and here we have two pages, the first with just a selection of most used apps, and then over to the right is the entire app list. The background is completely transparent here, which I think looks great on this backdrop. But that is it for this setup, very functional and super visually impressive. All right, so next up we have a three page KLWP based setup sent in by Nishant. And as you can probably already see, this is a super clean, visually amazing setup that has some really neat tricks up its sleeve as well. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on. So as mentioned, this is a KLWP based setup, which makes it outrageously easy to set up and load onto your own device as everything is built within the custom live wallpaper application. This is a standalone file designed by Nishant, but he did want me to mention that it was originally inspired by the flow for KLWP application. So if you wanna check the inspiration out, I've included it down in the notes below as well. So to start off, we've got a really nice beach and water backdrop. This wallpaper just makes me feel happy and certainly has me craving a tropical beach holiday. And as always, this backdrop is baked into the KLWP file. So no need to download separately and load it up yourself. On top of that wallpaper, we have a white semicircle widget that houses all of our interactable elements. And above is a little icon that indicates what page we're currently sitting on. So on the first page here, we have a series of weather bits and pieces, which looks great. And then as we swipe over to the right, you can see we get this neat animation that just makes the home screen experience feel very fluid and clean. 
On the second page, which is actually the default page, we have a clock and date widget up the top as well as a battery percentage widget over on the right. And then below that is a set of five application icons. And if you don't have these particular apps installed on your phone, then you'll need to dive into the KLWP settings to make sure they launch into apps that you do actually have installed. Swiping over to our third page, and here we have a very clean and very minimal music player widget. Looks great in my opinion, but that is it for the home screen KLWP setup. Swiping up and into the app drawer, and here we have icons provided by my personal favorite, the Crichton Icon Pack. And at the top there, we have five folder icons, making it really easy to find and access your most used apps within a single swipe and tap. But aside from that, that is it for this setup. Definitely one of the cleanest I've featured. And if you're looking for a dead easy to set up home screen, then this may definitely be the one. And finally today, we have another three page KLWP based setup. This one has been sent in by Johan. And this is for those looking for more of a distinct looking home screen setup, something that is different from the norm. So let's take a look at each of the different elements we've got going on. So again, the wallpaper and all of the different widgets are baked into the KLWP file. And this again makes it very easy to set up, just some minor tweaking to get it to fit your phone's display. But other than that, it's pretty much just plug and play. Now starting with that wallpaper, this without a doubt is what sets the unique tone of this overall setup. It's very Picasso-esque and I quite like the look of it. What's also neat is that each of the different widgets have been organized in such a way so that they fit into each of the different crevices and spaces within the wallpaper. So starting at the top, and here we have a day of the week widget with a date and month widget strategically placed below that as well. Over to the far left, and here we have a column of little settings icons. Up the top, we have the alarm clock. Below that is a battery percentage indicator, then the network reception, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. And then we also have a temperature indicator subtly hidden at the bottom of this column. On top of this, each of these icons have been set up to launch into their respective menus within the settings. So that adds in a really nice layer of functionality. Over in that space on the right of the wallpaper, and here we have an analog clock widget, as well as a digital clock widget above that as well. And this is such a nice use of this shape within the wallpaper. It looks great and serves a pretty good purpose as well. So I mentioned that this is a three page setup. And so swiping to the right will reveal one row of application icons towards the bottom. These are actually set up within Nova Launcher itself. The icon icons come from the Flight Light icon pack, and the Play Store icon is actually a folder housing a range of different applications. Swiping right one more time will reveal a second row of app icons. This time, all but the Spotify icon are actually folders as well. This means lots of room for functionality within this setup, which is great. Aside from that, swiping into the app drawer presents us with a dark, pretty clean looking application drawer. Icons are this time from the minimalist icon pack. But that is it for this setup. Unique, visually appealing, and super well integrated. But aside from that, that is it for today's episode. As always, each and every asset, including the Nova Backup and KLWP files will be included down in the notes below. And don't forget to let me know which setup featured in today's episode was your favorite by voting in the poll over on the site. If you wanna have your own setup featured in this series, then make sure you check out the submission video below. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.